Hello, I'm Sherry Hunt, Research Leader of the USDA Agricultural Research Service Hydraulic Engineering Research Unit. Our laboratory is located here near Lake Coral Blackwell, where we draw water from the lake for our outdoor physical modeling as well as indoor modeling. We can draw up to 120 cubic feet per second of gravity flow for this research and has been a unique feature of our laboratory for many years. We're here today to talk about the jet erodibility device that was developed by our former research leader, Dr. Greg Hansen. He developed this device to develop parameters for erodibility so he could relate those to erosion rate equations. It was primarily developed to look at soils for spillway erosion and prediction of breach within the spillway. He later modified that device where it could be implemented in a more mobile unit where we could analyze and determine erodibility of soils along stream banks and it's also being used today to evaluate breach of embankment dams. Hi, I'm Dr. Erin Daly. I just recently finished up my PhD here at Oklahoma State University, working under Dr. Gary Fox with his research team. As Dr. Hunt said, we have recently been utilizing the jet erosion test to measure the erodibility of stream banks around Oklahoma. One way that we model stream bank erosion is using the excess shear stress equation, which is dependent on two parameters, the erodibility coefficient and the critical shear stress. The critical shear stress basically tells us when the soil will start eroding, and the erodibility coefficient tells us how fast we can expect that soil to erode once it is actually eroding. The way that we can measure this in situ is using the jet erosion test. This is the mini jet. The components of this device include an inlet nozzle where we can route water into the device, an outlet nozzle where the water can come out of the submergence tank, the actual submergence tank that keeps our jet submerged during the entirety of the test, a point gauge so we can measure the erosion over time, and a deflector plate that helps us to turn the jet on and off. You can see the jet here that will actually shoot into a jet of water into the soil, and then our point gauge can measure the development of that scour hole over time. And using these two data points, we can derive the erodibility coefficient and the critical shear stress to characterize that soil. The way that we set this up in the field, we'll attach the jet device to the stream bank using a soil foundation ring, and then we'll apply a known pressure head to the jet nozzle using a constant head tank. Here's an example of the constant head tank set setup that we use. We'll pull water from the stream using a pump. It'll go into the constant head tank and then route from the constant head tank to the jet under a known pressure that's based on the elevation difference between the top of the head tank and the jet device itself. So using this setup, we can basically characterize the soil in situ for use in predictive modeling and other cases such as that. So as you've seen, the jet erosion test has, and the research and development of the jet erosion test has really become a collaborative arrangement between the USDA ARS Hydraulic Engineering Lab here in Stillwater and Oklahoma State University. If you'd like to get plans to build your own jet, you can contact Sherry Hunt at the Hydraulic Engineering Lab. And at OSU, we've done a lot of work to look at how much variation do we see in some of these parameters on the watershed scale and also on the site scale. And we've also come up with an automated spreadsheet solution. If you'd like to, to gain access to that spreadsheet and, and have a copy of that spreadsheet, you're welcome to contact us at OSU.